Hello, everybody. What's good? What's good? What's good? Can you hear me? Can you see me? It is a lovely Thursday night, Tender Bear. Love to see it. Hello, Dresden, Nikki, Justin. Hi, everybody. Now, I uh, am living in a province right now where the two NHL teams are battling in playoffs and the game literally starts in half an hour so i didn't know what type of attendance we would have today so lovely to see you non-hockey fans or if anybody is watching it in the background keep us updated i'm curious i'm curious to know what happens oh cinderella's here too from a king's fan go flames love to hear it love to hear it you guys i'm a bandwagon fan <laughs> I have no shame in saying it I like sports but I don't like it's fun to go to the games to watch them playoff hockey's good it's like good hockey but I'm just a bandwagon Flames fan right now it's exciting when the whole city's like pumped about something I think that's fun but uh, yeah I heard there's a sport of it some local sports teams are up against each other um, I actually play ringette close to hockey. I love playing it, right? Like playing sports is fun. Sometimes watching them, I just like don't care. Like I'd rather play. I, I, I admire the skill of the athletes. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Um, the top golf queen. <laughs> yeah. I'm like okay at top golf. I roller skate a bit. Justin's just like pumping me up in the background there. Ooh, ooh. Thanks, guys. It's funny. I like angered a bunch of people. Like I, 
You guys know I've been calling myself a painter for the people for a long time, okay? I, uh, I paint what people want. Like, I was trained as an illustrator. I was trained to, like, create for other people. Um, so I don't really, like, I just enjoy painting. I don't, like, really care what I'm painting. So I'm a painter for the people. I paint whatever. So um, last year, or maybe around Christmas, there was McDavid from the Oilers, who my home team now is playing against. Um, he had this like crazy goal and his reaction was like awesome. It was like, it was like the best picture. And I just, once I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I have to paint that. Like as an athlete, that's like so cool. Like you can see, you like know how that feels, right? So it's like, oh, I just was inspired to paint him. So I painted him and then like the Oilers Nation, like their Instagram, one of their big Instagram shared it and I gained like a thousand Oiler fans, right? Oiler fans. But I live in Calgary. <laughs> Fast forward six months later. And um, the flames are against the Oilers. Um, and as a joke, I drew on my Oilers print. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm from Calgary. Drew like made him like a flame, and like put like an L on his forehead. And I was like selling these prints, and I like pissed off a lot of Oilers fans. Yeah, drama. It was lots of sports drama. Oilers fans. I lost like 50 followers. They were like not having it, and I just, I don't even care. I just paid for the people, you guys. Anyway, uh, Dresden has some help for shipping costs. Okay, love to hear that. We will touch on, love to hear that. We will touch on that soon. Ah, shipping, don't get me started. <gasps> and you drop a patat. Oh my goodness, thank you. I forgot what it feels like to get props. It's been so long. You are the best. Thank you for that, you sneaky, sneaky. That was a good jokey, jokey. It's not a joke, but I'm picking up what you're now. You, thank you. <laughs> okay, sorry. Compose myself. We'll get back to painting, y'all. Freaking cuties. Thank you, you guys. Those props are, you're so supportive. Thank you. Now I'm like, what am I here for again? Right, we're painting. An elephant. Um, so this little elephant is actually an original painting, you guys. Oh, interesting. Um, it's an original painting that I did years and years and years ago. Um, and I just recently did it at Pinnovate. We had a one night class. Um, and it went really well. And a couple of people asked if I could pay, post a video of it. Because again, like some people like to do it twice. Because the first time you're learning and scared and intimidated. And then the second time it feels a little bit better. And usually you come all the time. I'm not going to say usually. I think guarantee your second elephant will always be better. So hello if any of those paint night people are here right now or if you're on YouTube watching. Hello. Thanks for coming back. Tender bear with the props. Thank you. Too. Hi, Pamela. Um, so we're going to paint an elephant. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, y'all know me in here. If you've been on my YouTube, you should know me. Take Tacy. We're gonna paint an elephant, how I like to paint. If anything that I teach you during the way or along the way, you're just like, ew, I hate that. And if you don't like doing a certain, like maybe you wanna use a different color, or maybe you wanna use like less water and not have as drippy and messy. Oh my gosh, Justin, you guys, these are all really nice new cool props. My ADD is clicking <laughs> today. But um, if I, like I said, do anything that stresses you out, don't do it. You don't have to follow me exactly. We're just going to have fun for two hours and just like enjoy the act of painting because that's the best part, okay? Um, I'm going to need you to trust the process and not treat your painting so precious, okay? Um, especially adults. I know you. I know y'all. You already are worried that you're going to mess it up before we've even begun. So if you can just somehow let go of that fear, um, you will enjoy yourself a little bit more and at the end you'll have a beautiful elephant. All of our elephants are gonna look different. I, that's another Taylor guarantee. Um, so just trust the process that in the end you're gonna have a cute little elephant for the world to enjoy. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have to go over all my rules. If you wanna start with pencil, feel free to start with pencil. Um, I will teach you with paint but some people are more comfortable with a pencil on canvas. Like I said, no rules here. We're having fun. Um, and when it comes to brushes, I always just suggest having like three sizes. So like a smaller pointed one. It can even be like one of these little square ones. 
Um, where's another small one? Right? There's lots of different types of small ones. Um, one small one to think of like outlining or small detail. Get a medium sized brush, and that's like these square ones, even a little bigger, maybe like that big, just a little bit bigger. And then a bigger brush. I actually didn't bring a big one, so I'm like, imagine a little bit bigger, but a big guy. Think like backgrounds, you know, all stuff. Okay, if you only have one brush though, you can make it happen. It just gets a little annoying filling in uh, spaces with small brushes, but. We can make it happen. Um, today's colors, so easy. It's literally, it's basically just one color. It's just blue. I use two, a dark blue and a light blue. If you don't have a dark blue and a light blue, don't stress about it. Whatever blue you have will be all of the above, right? So when we're using dark blue, when I'm talking about dark blue, you'll be using what blue you have just straight out of the tube. And then we get to the lighter blue, you'll just be adding white to your blue to make it lighter. But Cinderella's here, I know you like to know exactly what color I'm using. Light blue permanent. And uh, my favorite that I've mispronounced all the right time. A phalo blue. A phalo blue? A phalo. <laughs> it's not phalo, I have learned. Um, so those are the two blues that I am using. And then black and white. That's it. That's it, that's all. I have the painting right here if we want to look at it quickly. Steven! Oh my goodness, you guys, Oprah of Props is back. We know what that means. I'm going to be distracted once again to the comments with a prop. Oh my goodness. Y'all are spoiling me today. I haven't even done anything for you. I've just yammered on for 10 minutes. So here's the cutie elephant we're going to be doing in the bottom down here. It's kind of cut out. You can't really see it as well. Um, so I'll show you the one that I painted uh, the other day. I'll be honest with you guys. This took me 20 minutes. Oh my god, the props are still coming. I'm not slow enough. So I must be my sweet boy. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, boy, Oprah, you're a girl. That was rude. Um, so I did this in about like 20, 30 minutes. And the paint class actually like knocked it out before two. So, I believe in us. I think we can knock her out quickly. It's a little bit easier when I can like paint straight on. Uh, in the paint class, I had to like hold the painting up and paint from the side. So, here's the cutie that we'll be doing today. I'm gonna prop it up somewhere that I can see it at least. All right, so we're gonna start by just getting out your light blue, if you're ready. Remember, we're just having fun. No expectations, okay? Um, you're gonna take out your light blue, and if you don't have a light blue, this light is just blinding me from the side. Looks like I'm getting a tan over here. If you don't have a light blue, you're adding white to your dark blue. And then you're gonna be getting your smallest brush. Oh my goodness. You guys, we haven't even been chatting in the chat. We've just, you've just been dropping props. Spoiled little angel. Thank you. Um, you're going to get a small brush. Whatever your smallest brush is. Pointed sometimes helps for some people. I'm going to use this guy. This is a dollar store brush and I love it. Okay. Quality is sneaky sometimes. Cinderella dropping a goat. I'm shook. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Cuties. Justin's sharing my broadcast, y'all. It's a good day, it's a good day. Okay, we've got our little baby brush. I'll try to be focused. The ADD is real today, you guys. Um, we've got our little baby brush. I've dipped it in my water a couple times and I've scooped water. If you can see over here, this is my little water dish. Mm. I'll just turn it a little bit. See, I'm putting my brush in there and I'm scooping water onto my palette. Somebody at the paint night literally just poured some water from their water dish and I respect that too. That works too. A little too tasty in the Tasty Cartel. Oh my wow, god, Tasty Cartel. I love that. RCV. Little RCV, how you doing? We're about to start an elephant. Okay, we're picturing our elephant on this canvas. Oh, thank you. Once a month. I've committed to once a month. That's the, that's all I've got right now. 
<laughs> but okay, we're painting this elephant. We're picturing him on the canvas. Remember the canvas was just here and there. You could picture him, right? We've got his head. We have his little sh trunk, ear. His ear goes off the page. It's totally okay. Even if his trunk goes off the page, it doesn't matter. So right, we're gonna start by his circle of his head. Look at this picture down here and imagine doing a circle right around his noggin. And let's just do that. Remember, we've got that watered down paint. We brought a bunch of water onto our palette and put our paint in there, mixed it around until we got a little chocolate milky consistency. Right, you see this little puddle I made down there? And now when I make this circle, see how I went around a couple times? Cause it doesn't matter. This is just our underdrawing. Remember, some people are drawing in pencil. Imagine this as a sketch. I might even make him a little bit bigger. How far from the top? Imagine that his trunk is gonna go up there too. So like if we put this right here, right? This is what we're looking at. We're trying to fit him in here. This is the circle. So however much you wanna leave on the top, you have to leave a little bit of room for his trunk, but we're putting the circle right here, right? If I, I could probably make it a little bit bigger. Fairly centered, let's say a little to the left, but fairly centered. Centered favoring the left, and here I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And again, we're all gonna have very different little elephantes. So if yours is smaller, who cares? I got a big circle now. And just so that you guys don't get confused with that double line. I'm so off center today. just erasing this so that you guys don't get confused with two lines and when I say erasing I just like dip my towel or my paper towel or whatever I'm using um, whoop. I'm dipping it in water and I'm just rubbing around uh, the line that I want to erase and again it doesn't really like erase it but see how it went away a little bit so now we're just imagining this circle is the outline. It's okay if yours has a couple in there, it's just later on when you guys are looking at mine, those might get confusing. But it's okay if you have them in yours. You're off center every day, you're in good company. Love that. Love to hear it. All right, we've got the elephant head. And now we're gonna plan for his little trunk. All right, again, always look at the reference photo so you can see why I'm making these choices. I can even put, well, you can't see it. So we're imagining his trunk as like a big circle. It starts as a circle, right? Because it's a big tube coming out of his face. So we are going to add a circle that comes outside, over and outside of the circle we've already drawn. Imagine this is the base, like this is where the trunk goes onto his face. Right, and it's going over, like we're cutting, it's not inside the circle we did, a little tiny chunk of that circle is outside of our original circle. Y'all with me? Now let's get that cutie little trunk going. So from the bottom, we're using that circle that we just put down in there and we are going to follow underneath it. And as we start curving up, we're gonna bring out the schnoz. See how the trunk's coming up? And then you're gonna make a little cutie. Boop, it's like an S. Oh, disappeared a little bit there. We're just using that watered down consistency paint, right? This is the bottom of his trunk. See how it came out, that circle that we started? And we curved it around to the little S. Nikki's live streaming tonight? I love to hear it. Somebody's gotta, Justin, take a screenshot so I can see. I can't see. Hey, why not? That's the best. That's how I started. Justin was like, just go paint on and live stream at the same time. And I was like, what do you mean? And then here we are. 
Okay, we've got that schnout. And then we are going to just put a little circle at the top of that. See how it's like we, oh, it's almost. We did a little S and I'm just drawing a circle at the top that is connected to that line. I just drew it right off of that line. Can you make it a little bigger? Now when we're making the other side of his snout, we're still using the circle as our reference point. We're gonna start tracing it like we already, the line that we already did, and then we're gonna come out and basically be parallel to the line we've already drawn. Oh my gosh, my line's a little crazy. I probably made it a little thick, but that's okay. Love to hear it, Nikki. Love to hear it. Right, we've got a schnoz. Right, here's our circle behind it. And we've got a big old trunk. How's it feeling? Justin saying, reminder, if you paint along to use hashtag take face scheme in the fagel. Thanks, Justin. See, I'm so bad at the techie side stuff, you guys. I don't know. Okay. Now let's make a little ear from our little guy. So from here, we're going back to the big main circle, which is his main head, right? Not at the very top, but we're going to go a little bit over. It does look like a teapot. Huh? Okay, we've got the circle. We come down a little bit. Imagine this is like we're cutting like an inch off the top. And that's where we're going to start his ear. We're just going to make a little line out. Easy enough, right? Balls are itchy today. Oops, come back, come back. Oh my gosh, you guys, PCs drive me crazy. Okay, <laughs> so we've got the little line right here. Me, right? That's where his ear is starting. And from there, we're just going to bring the line on down. A down angle, right? If we were making it straight, it would look like this. But off of our little line that we just made, off of the main head circle, we're going to bring this guy on down. Boop. And when you get close to the edge, you can like curve it down again if you want. But some of you might get to the end with that. That's okay. Remember that this is our underdrawing. So like as we start coloring him in, if you feel like you want to bring his ear higher up, you can. No one's stopping you. Okay. And now we're going to cut a line right through. I just am looking at my original. Once I, sometimes it's better for me to do them organically so I don't think about how I did it before. I just do it. If that makes sense. But now I'm like, oh, I've done this twice. I have to remember how to do it. Um, we are going to draw a line cutting just a little bit of his cheek off. Sorry, just a little slice. The line straight down. And we're gonna go past because this is his ear, right? His big triangle ear at the bottom. See, we left space up here because that's like where his ear curves, right? You don't have to do that line, but just for visual. to have the line straight on down little triangle and from that triangle again all of us are probably gonna be a different distance away from the edge but we're gonna just go right from this corner and we're gonna curve it on up just blank out for a second actually we can bring it a little longer but we've got an ear. This light's driving me crazy. That's 
so just a bit better. All right, do we see an elephant in there, everybody? He's coming along. Okay, it's gonna look like a cartoon, but later on it won't. Well, it might. I guess he kind of looks like a cartoon, but the shape we're gonna do right now is gonna make it look like he has a big cartoon eyeball. But we're picturing the whole shape around his eye. Like again, if you look at the picture, he has a little skinny eye, but if you look, if you squint, it's in a big circle. So that's what we're picturing, this big circle. Again, it's my underpainting, so it's okay if it's messy. I haven't made it a little big, but that's okay. And it's a little bit higher than our trunk circle. Oh, sorry, I don't want to send you guys my yawn. Oh, I got one. <clears throat> We basically got an elephant. Surprise, surprise. But we're just gonna base out, base out, draw out, map out, lay out. I don't really know what I was trying to say there. Where his little tusks go. So we have this big circle. We came off the face a little bit. <laughs> um, and we're going to draw a little triangle, not triangle, a little square. Like imagine where the tusk is coming out of, okay? And it's gonna go right up to his face line that we have in there, All right? So where you're drawing a little rectangle. It's kind of fitting right into the circle almost. Because his trunk is gonna go, like this is gonna be the underside of his trunk over here. And to make that cutie little tusk, we're gonna come a little bit on the inside. So we have this like square that we drew. And now imagine we're drawing another square just a little bit smaller in the middle. Come in like a finger's worth. And we're gonna draw a line down and curved over. Again, everyone's tusks are gonna be different sizes. Size doesn't matter, you guys. We have little baby tusks, big tusks. I'm not bringing it all the way to the end because the other one is probably going to come a little bit closer touching to the end. But if you want to make two huge ones, go for it. And easy enough to make that shape. Infinite silver. Hello. Good to see you. To finish off this shape, we're going to do just like we did with his trunk up here. Like we're going to be the parallel line. We're doing the same line, curving up until it points until it matches to the point if that makes sense we've got an elephant even though he looks crazy and to make that other tusk we don't have to do the square again the square is going to hide a little bit until we start accentuating it but that's totally okay the tongue tunk Tusk. I was going to say trunk and tunk at the same time. Uh, the tusk is smaller when you go further away. So things closer to you appear bigger. And to show that this is a little bit further away, we want to make it a little bit smaller. And we don't have to do the little thing because that will be hidden behind his trunk. It's like a tongue twist, a terrible tongue twister that is stumping me. So we're going to go up a little ways and we're going to draw another line. I made this one go right up to the edge. same thing you're just gonna draw another line till it matches on up so see before how before oh, I made him pretty I made him a little far that's okay before we uh, value them or add outline or anything it kind of already looks like this one's closer and that one's further away it's just doing a little bit bigger I'm gonna change the angle tiny touch but we have that, and then we need his little head bumps. Again, look at the little picture. The little pictures. Um, we 
if you look at the little reference photo, sorry, distracted, um, you can see that he has a cute little, like, butt forehead. I love it. My Bob Ross of painting comes back the last Thursday of every month. You got that right. It surprised me, to be honest. I just, like, looked at my calendar and I was like, holy man, the last Thursday. This is the, almost the last week of May. How does time go so fast? Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, so we're going to do that cute little bump on his head and make the little bump on his eyebrow. Like right here. Right? So we're using the same shape already. It's going to get a little bit messy in there, but again, we're going to clean it all up in a little bit. But we're using the base shape to draw that cute eyebrow. So from the circle, we're cutting in. Do you see that line? You can see... Oops where the original circle was and I made this little S here that just cuts into the original circle. Do you see how this was the line right here? That I cut in a little bit and joined up to the trunk just to add that little like eye, what is it? I feel like it's like eyebrow bump <laughs> on an animal. If they had eyebrows, that's where it would go. And when we're coming up the next side here, we're going to cut in to that circle head. Let me go to zoom. Where's my zoom? Oh, that doesn't work. But again, oh, you can't see my mouse. <laughs> um, if you can squint and see in the reference photo, you can see how there's a line that comes in. So this is his eyebrow. We're going to white this out to get that shape in there. All right, and to make those cute little bumps, we're going to come back to our original circle, right? We cut this line in, but now we're coming back to our original circle. And let's make a little bump right over top. Again, our original circle. The original circle is our base drawing and that's how we're figuring out how to lay everything out. We always break everything down as simple as it can be, a literal circle, and add detail as we go off of those main shapes. All right, all right. I just Matthew McConaughey to you. All right, all right, all right. And sorry that when I wear a hat, I like can't stop touching it, but I'm a fidgety girl, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so we started with one bump, and we're going to use this inner line that we made, right? We just made this casual little line there. We're going to imagine, not draw the line, but imagine that the line continues until you match up to where your first bump ended, right? So we did a little bump, boop, and we have a line, and then we're pulling up our paintbrush and coming down right when that first bump ended make another bump but again it's closer to us so it's going to be a little bit bigger until we match up with the ear remember to follow the insta and the twitters thanks for the advertising infant silver tay tay ski across the board everybody mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> So how's that cute little bum forehead? Like a butt chin, but a butt forehead. Pretty cute. I think we're basically, oh, we're just gonna finish his mouth and then we are gonna start coloring stuff in. And this one just takes a lot of schlobbing around, you guys. My favorite part. Trademarked, just kidding. It's not trademarked. Should be trademarked. Urban dictionary -ed. Right, Justin? Um, we are just going to add this cute little mouth at the bottom here. And we, how should we do that? How should I explain that nicely? We're just going to make a little, again, kind of like a little S. Like imagine he has like a thick under chin. And we're gonna come up and come back on down. <laughs> He's got a. I'm very rude to him. Butt chins. Double chin. But again, if you're looking at our main circle from it, we're just gonna go a little bloop. 
And I think we're ready to start coloring this crazy creature in. And again, just, I don't have this all the time for every uh, paint night that I do. But when I did this one, look, we're at the same page. Like if you're like, this is crazy, what's happening? It's the same. Wild and crazy, and it's gonna turn into an elephant. Okay. Let's go for it. We are going to start with, so the neck area is literally just like schlobbing some paint in there and it kind of like forms itself, if that makes sense. But like as we paint, it just kind of like forms that shape. Oh, I can see in the reference photo, if I go into the zoom here quick. Oh, no, let me get this. Uh, where's the elephant? Why can't I touch him? So do you see oops see how it just kind of like we go we're just gonna <laughs> I'm covering <laughs> I'm gonna cover my face <laughs> how we're just gonna paint it like that it doesn't really have a real body um, it the paint kind of makes it happen no stress okay we're back to the main page here okay you're gonna get your dark blue and remember, if you didn't have two blues, that just means we're going to use the fresh out the two blue. And when we're asking for light coming up, you're going to be adding a bunch of water. The thumbnail should be interesting. <laughs> I never even thought about that. I never even thought about <laughs> it is going to be interesting. Start brainstorming ideas, everybody. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, infinite silver. I honestly can't even see what that emo what that is. It just shows me two little squares. I haven't updated apparently. Okay, you are gonna get out your medium sized brush. Remember, it can look like a bunch of different things. Like it can be kind of like rounded like this. It can be pointed. It can be square. I usually like working with square. But guess what? I'm gonna go with this dollar store brush again. You can see I use this a lot, you guys. These dollar store brushes, I tell ya. So, we are going to start by just squinting at this picture down here. And when you squint at it, can you see the areas of the elephant that come out, like, way darker? I can see after the live ends. Okay, excellent. So when we're squinting at it to this elephant, we can see where the dark parts are on him, right? It's like, oh, he has... The dark on this side of his trunk, under his little chinny chin chin, in the dark parts of his ears, around this area and his eyes. So that's literally what we're doing. We're just throwing paint around, dark paint. We're gonna get a little wet so it comes a little bit drippy because you're painting with me, we're painting messy. Um, and we're just gonna go from dark to light. So we're starting with the darkest blue you got. If you only have one blue, straight out the tube blue. We're going to get our paintbrushes wet because water's our friend with acrylic. It helps us move the paint around. And I'm just like mixing my brush in there a little bit just to uh, fill every brothel <laughs> with paint. I don't know why I make me laugh every time that I say that, but it's important. Fill every bristle. And when I say slob it on, we're not a care in the world. Like look how far back on my brush I'm holding. Like I'm not holding it super close and like being very precise. I'm holding my paintbrush way far on back and I'm literally just going to slob in the blue where I see it on the reference photo. All right, let's just put a little bit of blue in under his chinny chin chin. Again, if you want it to drip, just add a little more water. Like you can go basically from your water dish right onto your painting. I'm not holding it like it's a pencil. There's times where you can hold a paintbrush like a pencil, but you can hold her in late. I mean, you can hold, I just said late because I read Nico's <laughs> comment, um, but you can hold it like however you want. Nico came in late and sketched him out about two minutes. I know, and I'm just gabbing and being slow today. You're an all-star. So you're caught up, you're at the dark blue. And with that dark blue, we're just gonna map out. Excellent, love to hear it. 
this little rectangle. See how it's a little bit darker on one side, but you can see where the square is. Made him a little more chunky. That's the best. The chunkier and the bigger the eye, the cuter whatever you're painting or drawing will be. Glitched Penguin is here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Bunch of people just snuck in here. Love to see it. We're painting an elephant. It looks like this, but it will look like this. <laughs> okay, we still got this blue, and we're still squinting at our cutie little reference elephant to see where that dark blue is going to go. And it's going to feel scary, but we're going to make this dark area on his forehead here. It's a pretty dark line. But see how I'm just curving? Almost imagining like I'm making that little head bump, that little butt bump, but I'm doing it over here in the dark. He should be chunky like a Putin Uni. I think mine's pretty chunky too, and I agree. The Putin Uni's so cute, and you with the props, sir. Just pumping my tires today. But with this dark blue, what are we doing? We've got that forehead bump. We've got under his chin. We've got under his ear here. Oh my gosh, Cinderella with the Putin Uni. You guys, I can't with y'all. Spoiling a girl today. Hmm. Okay, where are we at? Where else when we're squinting? A big part is the top of his snouty. Thanks, Nikki. Right? And again, like, you can, like, messily put this on if you want. We're having... A beautiful painted messy elephant so we can not stress too much about your strokes your brush strokes when you get up to the circle right we're coming down his little schnaut I was gonna say schnoz same thing but to kind of imply that this is a 3d shape right we want to show that his trout <laughs> now I, I, why can't I speak today trunk we want to show that his trunk um, is like rounded we conveniently have this circle that we started with we're gonna just roughly kind of do some lines in that rough shape right because if we did them straight they would be straight across and it would really flatten out his schnozberries <laughs> but it's a big old snout and it gets that nice wrinkles in there so it's nice with the elephant that we can be messy and brush strokey because he's wrinkly and crazy. You see, we're kind of following that circle. And if you want, you can just bring out some more lines, but we're gonna be playing with that a lot later. And we're gonna just do one swipe of dark blue on the underbelly of his trunk. Right there for now. We don't see like every day, so we give more presents because we want you to come back more. Internet. I'm just gonna say, guys, I don't know why I can't talk. Infinite silver. I just about called you internet silver. What a kind thing to say. I know you guys, I do want to come back too. I want to come back more too, but my time management skills in my job, I, I always am doing something job related, but I'm struggling with balancing them all at the moment. One day I'll be back to coming back here more. Okay, we started his neck, we started his trunk. And again, we're using this dark blue. You can lightly like add in, like you can go over some of these outlines that we've done just to get more texture in there. You don't have to. You can throw in some crazy lines in his ears. Again, wrinkly little cutie elephant. Why not throw some wrinkles on in there? And again, I'm just like lightly throwing my brush. I'm still holding it super far back. I, at this stage, I want our lines and our shapes to be messy. And the more we get to the end, we refine those. We refine those shapes. Okay, let's go to that big old cartoon eye that we just drew out there. 
And again, if we like look at the picture, you can almost see this circle, but his eye's little in the middle. So let's just make a big old eyelid. A line right across. See, his eyeball's gonna go under there. But we made a eyelid. And you can color in the top of that circle. And again, if you feel like you made your circle too big, you could bring it in a little bit more if you want. But guess what? The bottom is an eyelid too. It's a little bit curved. See how it's not a straight line at the, like the top? It's a little curved, just like the bottom shape of the circle we already drew. And then again, you can just roughly paint some of these dark blue lines following that sh circle shape that we already drew in the start, our base drawing of his eyeball. Now we have his little cutie squinty eye in there. And again, make as many lines as you want. Yours looks stoned. That's fair. I feel like he does too. This might actually looks a little more like grumpy, like he looks mad. Annoyed. All the above. And let's fill in the shape. And I'll f we can fix that a little bit too if you like really don't like his eyes. If you're not, um, if we wanna fix, if you wanna fix it. Stone, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so we have this line right through the circle. But see how our elephant has, he kind of has like a squiggly cheek, like his face isn't that sharp line that we did. But the reason we made that line through is we're gonna use them both. So we're gonna start at the line and we're gonna bubble out to our circle and then come on back in to the line. Do you see what I did? I bubbled out to match to our main circle and I brought the line back to that ear line that we drew. Oh yes, I forgot she was on TV in Canada, so she has more famous on people. Wanting. No, I was on TV for something else. Just a small little on TV. You hilarious. <laughs> so we did this little bump from the land to the circle to the land. And let's do one more. Oops, that one was a little small. And match it up to that chin. Right? So we've got that shape built out. You can like add some of this dark blue onto the outlines that we want to keep. Because remember, since those light blue lines that we used, we don't have to use all the lines. We can erase them with color, hide them. I just heard a honk over there. We can say we knew her when. Cinderella, you stop it. I'll always remember my little caffeine family. I can. When am I? I'm not, I ain't leaving. Where am I going? That just reminded me of what's his name. I ain't fucking leaving. Wolf of Wall Street. Not that I relate to that character in any way. Um, so we've got the start of the ear. And you know how we drew just a straight line, but his ear is actually a little wobbly, right? Like he's a natural creature. He's not a mechanical shaped thing. So we can make them a little more natural, breaking away from those sharp geometric lines that we based him out in or traced him out, whatever you want to say. So I'm going to go over this line and I'm just going to go <laughs> sound effects necessary. Let's see. I wobbled it a little bit. Just curious. Are you doing classes still in Canada? Um, yes and no. Like I sometimes like, I don't know what the right word would be. Like I uh, I don't know the word, but there's a local company here that owns a studio that they do like classes and stuff. And sometimes I go there and teach classes out of there sometimes. But most of what I do is just like commissioned work or like paintings. Like it's not on the teaching end. It's more on the like me physically painting end. And you're late, but luckily you're here to wash, not paint. Love to hear it, Jen Bone. No stress. We love y'all in the peanut gallery not painting with us keeps the conversation going or else I just get weird and awkward up here. Uh, so we have a lot of our blue laid out on our cutie elephant, right? We've got most of the blue on the tusk here. 
We could do a curved line. I heard peanut gallery. Dressed in the OG of the peanut gallery. Just telling Jin Bom that they don't have to paint along, that we love when you just come to watch. We love the peanut gallery. And what else should we do quick? Let's just roughly kind of go over these lines again. It's going to look great in the end to have some of this color peeking through. So I'm almost like re-outlining the guy. Oh, that little butt head. So funny. Alrighty. So do we see an elephant coming along a little bit here? Let's add a little bit more water to our brush. We're still using the same brush and still using the same blue. And I'm just going to scoop some of that water just to get a little bit more water down. We don't have to worry about it being like super watered down. But we're going to do what we were saying with Nikki with the, the neck area or the whatever. The neck area, yeah, that works. And we are going to be going back and forth. And again, imagine the circle. We want to go in curve. We don't want to go straight. But we're going to go and do, again, kind of random. They don't have to be perfect. But we're going to bring them curved. You, like, want them to not be perfect, actually, even if that might be annoying to some of you. You want them to be a little irregular and weird, but see how we're going all the way to, I don't know, maybe an inch back of the ear here. And we're just implying a body. That's the nice thing about painting is that you don't have to do all the details all the time. You can just imply shape. Like we don't need to do a detailed body for people to know that this is an elephant. And from far away, it'll just, it just, I'm just telling you. Sometimes it's easier. And again, if you want, you can throw in some crazy wrinkles. Doo, doo, doo. Maybe off his ear a little bit. I don't know. Again, I'm holding my paintbrush very far. I'm being a little crazy. We are going to be going over a lot of this stuff with lighter paint. And it's going to hide some of these crazies that we're doing. Maybe some wrinkles on his mouth, under his ear. They're just wild. They go wherever. And I'm just going to outline the back end of his trunk as well. How's that? For an elefante. You guys know Schlauben is my favorite, so just throwing paint on here is my favorite part. I could pick away at this forever. Want to follow your heart to paint? Sorry, I'm an inspiration. Hey, follow your heart and paint. That's the dream. How is that? Wrinkles, wrinkles. Want forehead wrinkle? I don't know. Ooh, maybe. All right, our crazy little elephant. It's wilding out a little bit. But we're going to get white out onto our palettes. We're going to keep that dark blue. Oh, God. I can't I struggle with opening this every time. So we're going to take some good old white. And again, I always have to say it. If you're using, like, <laughs> crappy paint. If you're using low-quality paints, um, sometimes their white is the worst. And it's not going to cover up things as much as you'd want it to or it will but it's going to take a lot of level uh, layers but if you're somebody who wants to paint more or is more passionate about it um i would suggest at least a good white like this one i painted with like cheaper paints but i used my good white on it and it makes the difference um golden white is the best white it's so opaque it covers everything it's a dream you need to invest in paint that's not green and maybe and maybe a canvas too. <laughs> mm. You were going to do the just green skull, weren't you? Was it the skull? No, what was it? Yeah, I think it was the skull. It was the skull. That's all right. 
That's okay. <laughs> One day you'll have other colors if you want. So now we are going to add a little bit more white. The elephant elefante. <laughs> um, we are going to add some white to our dark blue. Your elephant, your elephant's chunky. That's the dream. Aren't all elephants chunky? I don't. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a ch big old chunk of white and grab a little bit of your dark blue. And again, if you have a dark blue and a light blue, we don't want this uh, mixture that we're making right now to become lighter than our light blue. We just, <laughs> another tongue twister. We just want this blue to be a little bit lighter than the blue we've already used. Not too much lighter. I put a little too much white in there, but that's okay. Come, come, blue. Okay. And remember, if you want to mix your colors with a palette knife, go for it. My teachers would kill me if they knew that I was teaching guys to mix with brushes because they hate that I do that. But it's the best. <laughs> I like when you get little mixtures of other colors in there. But okay. So now we've got a little bit of the lighter dark blue on our brushes, right? We add a little bit of water, on, uh, white in there, and we've got a little bit lighter of a um, hue. I don't know if that's the right word. And again, it's going to feel a little redundant. We're going to go on the same spots, just a little bit lower, right? So I'm going into these darker areas and see it's a very subtle color difference. It's not crazy. And I'm still doing that like wild and out loose brush strokes. And I'm just kind of filling in, going over a little bit, but not all of it. You don't want to cover up all the work that you've already done. We want those dark colors to peek through, but we're slowly filling up all these extra spaces. Would changing the opacity change the hue? Asking for a friend. I need to, con let me confirm that hue is what I think it is. I think hue is actually like, hold on, hold up. Yeah, hue is like the shade, hue matches color. Hue refers to the origin of the color we see. Now I'm confusing myself. I'm over confusing myself of um, primary are considered hues. Learn Spanish with Taylor. <laughs> Elefante. <laughs> That's all I've got. <laughs> no, no, no. I know. I appreciate it. I, I'm overthinking it. I'm like just thinking about it like on Photoshop it's like okay when you change the hue of something I feel like it changes the color doesn't it so I'm going into all the areas <laughs> I'm gonna think about that and uh, go again in between I'm not covering my work but I'm going in some of the areas I'm covering it a little bit but I'm following whatever direction my brush strokes were going before, right? So I'm down here and I'm gonna do that little curve. You can add a little cornstarch to cheaper paint to make it more opaque. I didn't know that, the more you know. We're on brand with Taylor when she's not sure what to do. Yes, a thousand and ten percent, yes. <laughs> Uh, more on brand than anything, um, but we are going through some of the areas and see how it's again, it's very subtle. It's not a huge difference. And if you're worried that you go over some of your dark blue, you can go back over it later with dark blue. There's nothing permanent. But I'm just going to add again when I'm squinting at my elephant, seeing where all the medium hues, hues? Now I'm just, send me back to art school. So it's like value, like it's different values. That's like gray to white, like white. Yeah, like a value scale is like dark to light. So we raised the, lightened the value when we added white into our dark blue. And I think that's most of the spots that we need. How's it feeling? Anybody watching the hockey game? I know this. 
What's the score of the Flames game? Nada! That's better than usual. I confused with art speech. Hey, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> but okay, we've went through all those spots. We've added the medium blue. We can see the dark blue peeking through a little bit. But guess what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go right to oh, we're gonna go right to our light blue. Okay, you can clean off your brush real good, like. I'm still using the same medium sized brush. How are we feeling everybody at this stage right now? Other than them being chunky, other than your elephants being, cause that's not a problem, that's, that's a good problem. Feeling good as heck, I'd love to hear it. Okay, we're gonna grab our light blue. And just to be safe, because sometimes, like, who knows what everyone's blue is like, we're going to take, like, the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest touch of that other blue that we're using to mix in, just so that they feel harmonious. Is that how you say that word? Um, because some people, you might be using a lighter blue that's a little bit different of a color, and we still want it to feel like it belongs on the same painting together. So in the light blue that we're using, you're taking a tiny bit of that blue concoction we just made before, just to make the tone. Like, I'm not even gonna use the right color words, because I'm overthinking it. <laughs> and guess what we're gonna do when we're squinting at our little elephant? We're just gonna go into those spots that we see this, this value of blue. And the next stage up is basically just white. So we're using this light blue and see where I'm going in these extra spots. And see how I'm still kind of like making my brush strokes like in this direction, like the direction of the wrinkles, basically. If you're imagining his little wrinkly forehead. And again, if you put blue somewhere you don't want, we can use white to cover it up. That's totally okay. But see how we're building up those textures as we're putting those brush strokes through. Same with on his nose, right? We can add, we're still following that shape of that initial circle that we drew to make that trunk. And filling in those spots. And again, sorry, I'm just repeating the same thing, but it's important just to remind yourself as you're painting that you do wanna go over what you've done a little bit so that it's blending in nicely, but you don't wanna cover all your work that you've shown. See him coming together, our little cutie. Let's make a little lighter spot under his trunk here. Doo, doo, doo. Kenzie and I were saying we have to bring back, um, we've done paint nights where, cause again, you guys are watching. You can look like when I'm saying something, you can look at what I'm doing. But Kenzie was in the background like doing, I can't remember what she was like packing something for me. And then we like thought of the idea of how funny would it be that she tries to draw what we're drawing just by listening. So when I'm like, oh, come a little ways from here and draw, the, like it's easy to have a reference point, but when you're just trying to explain to somebody like blind, basically, um, it makes it, it's so funny. The results were so funny. <laughs> and you guys would just hear her. She would just be like over there, like trying to paint along. And, uh, yeah, because like, like right there, I was like, oh, we'll just color under this trunk part here. But like, what does that mean when you're not looking at the picture? Like, you don't know. Oh, those were funny. Okay, we've still got that light blue, right? And we're kind of filling in all these other spots. Eh, that's okay. If you want to make your eyes smaller, then you literally just kind of add some of this lighter blue to kind of cut that circle a little bit. We're filling in all the white spots to later paint white spots over it, but what can you do? King Fly, uh, how do I say that? King Fully? I butcher everybody's usernames. <laughs> Fully, I was right. Hey yo, thanks. Thanks for the hundred. We're just painting an elephant. It's 
coming along. Thanks. Are you a painter? Would you ever paint along with? Oh my gosh, I love this. You would. Well, good thing you found us. Once a month, last Thursday of every month, you'll find us here. Painters were still using that light blue. We paint a lot of different shit too. Today's an elephant. We did Bart Simpson the other day. The other day, month, I guess. If it's monthly, I guess it was the other month. Hey, that's it's on my YouTube. It's on my YouTube. So you didn't really miss it. You just missed us. You just missed us in the moment. But it's on my YouTube, Tay Tayski. You can paint along. Some people like to do it on the YouTubes. Like a lot of people like know this is happening live, but prefer to wait for me to like upload it. You can do it on your own time. You can pause, you can rewind, that jazz, all that jazz. I'm still using this light blue, and we're going to, guess what, go through his neck again, just like we did before. We're following that curve, imagining the circle curve, and filling in some of those spots that we've left. Cinderella is manifesting skulls all the time. Hey, it's fair that the skull we did last time, honestly, everyone killed it. I was nervous. I was very nervous to do skulls. And that's me. I guess that's, I guess I was a jerk. Here I am saying trust the process. Anyone can paint. And then I deprived you of skulls for so long. And it went well. I'm running out of paintings to teach you guys. These are all my paintings. I, I got nothing else. We'll find some fun things. The tailor of every month, maybe in the future, two times a month. Hey, no, yeah, that's a fair thing to say. Maybe in the future, two times a month is not crazy. And Cinderella's just throwing trust the process back at me. Respect. And here comes Oprah again. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is crooked. Eh, whatever. Oprah, thank you, cutie little angel. What would we do without you? You get a card, and you get a prop, and you get a prop. And now our elephants are getting pretty filled in. Hey, he's like coming along. I wish you guys could see like how messy it is close up. Like you can see all the brush strokes. There's a random drip there. It's not clean. It's going wild. I highly suggest that you guys like close your eyes, spin around, and look at your <laughs> maybe not. Put your, turn your painting around. Look at something else and then turn your painting back around and step back from it a little bit and you will feel so much different if you're struggling. Um, it's so easy to be caught in your painting. I always say this, like you're just like so close and you like make one brush stroke and you're like, it's terrible, it's the worst brush stroke ever and it's ruined. But then you like do something else for a second and you come back to it like organically and you're like, um, where's the brush stroke? I, I can't even tell. You just gotta like take a step back sometimes, importante. You can paint better dizzy, can confirm. <laughs> Spin around. <laughs> Take some of my advice, maybe not all. Can we do the red panda you did? So, yes. You're, a lot of people have asked about doing the panda. That's another one where there's like, perspective. <laughs> and I was just telling somebody in my DMs who asked about it like, they're like, I'd love to learn perspective. And I was like, I would love to be able to teach it. But it's something that I, like, it broke me in art school. Like, many tears were shed in my perspective drawing class. <laughs> and I just feel like it's, like, ingrained in me with abuse. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. My teacher was Ken. If anybody went to ACAD, he was tough. He was a tough cookie. Um, he made my life miserable. But in the end, taught me what, like, I learned really good from him. Anyway. Uh, no perspective talk. It's a trigger for me. <laughs> um, I just don't know how to teach it. I just, that's just what I'm, I just, that's why I always try to teach you guys just like do what I see. I just teach you how to look at something and draw what you're looking at. But then that doesn't work all the time. Just like hands. Like I can't just be like, look at this hand and draw it. There's, there's some things that uh, you have to know perspective for, I guess. Um, but... It's just the red panda's like back, like how his body goes back. 
Eh, we can do it. Whatever. Let's try. <laughs> so don't dance while painting. Try not to. But it could be fun. Okay, so we already know because we've been doing it over and over and over again. And now what are we going to do? We're going to add a bunch of white to that light blue that we were just using. Mm, Slobbing it in there. A bunch of white. You want more white probably than blue. And again, perspective's good, you guys. Like, you should know it. I just don't know if I'm the right person to teach you it because I just don't, like... It's very technical, and I'm not a very technical person. Um, and it's just, like, after you do it a bunch of times, you can do it, whatever. Um, just, like, YouTube it. There's so many great things on YouTube. Use it. So, we've got this, like, very light, almost white blue on our brushes. You should try after you finish a painting, just do a finish dance. <laughs> Almost like a finishing move in a fight, like, damn. And I just had like little jig. Roller skating kind of is that for me, I guess, hey? Just roller skate around like a little freak. Okay, we've got this almost white on our brushes. We don't want too much water, like, because opacity, like, it gets more translucent the more water you add. We want to, like, slob on some, like, thick paint on there. And so, what are we going to do? The same thing we kept doing, going into these spots. And again, with this much white on your brush, you can kind of fix some whoopsies if you want. Like if you thought his bump line was too thick, right? Like look how I'm going over it a little bit just to change it up. We can always go back with the dark blue in a bit to redefine those lines. But I'm going in with this almost white blue. Why do I keep looking at this angle here? Right, I'm coming down to his little schnout, and same thing, I'm gonna keep doing that. When I fill it in, I'm going left to right, right, in this brush strokey. It looks like white, no it doesn't actually, it's okay. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm going left to right to keep implying that like good old wrinkle lines and those textures. You're making his wrinkles by following um, those ang angles, perspectives. <laughs> um, it's nice when you like can glob on thick paint and it can kind of like do the work for you. It like, makes you have to do less shadow or outline because sometimes it just builds in that shape for you and that wrinkled line for you with a big old thick line. So see how I still like followed that circle and I went in between some of those dark lines we started. We can go in his ear up here and add a little bit of highlight in there. And see how like naturally like my hand has already come lower. Like we started back here, my hand far away, but now as we're getting a little bit more into details, I'm coming a little bit closer. I'm still not like fine detail mode. I'm still a little far back, a little farther backer. Is what I'm saying. Um, and we are still just kind of loosely filling in some of these spaces. He kind of has some like thick light spots of his ears. Because again, remember when, when we see that most of the stuff on the right hand side is lighter, that means the sun is coming here, right? The sun is on this side. It's hitting this part of his face, so this side of his face is shadowed. So that's why the light peaks through here because his face is covering this part of the ear. But then the sun's peeking through. I know you're not finished, but the unfinished product looks fire. Uh, Moonshine, thank you. Love to hear that. It's pretty cool. A little black outline and saves the day. Flame score to goal. Let's go. Love to hear it. You know what's funny is because... <laughs> This is going to sound so much worse than it actually is. Um, I am currently painting this big flames piece right now. Because the first um, the first game of this series, the flames did really good. And I was like, heck yeah, let's go. I'm painting a big like flames painting for this. We're in the playoffs. It's for the city. Paint it for the people, remember? But if they lose today, they're out. And I was like, well, my painting is... I have not done my painting yet. They have to keep going so I can finish my painting before it ends. My blues are fighting for their lives. See, look, we've got lots of hockey fans in here from different 
ropes. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. Different ends of the field. <laughs> uh, but I still have this light color on here. And I'm still kind of going in that like eyebrowy, wrinkly ankles. <laughs> what am I saying? I started reading. I thought we was out last night and they had an amazing comeback. Let's manifest that back. That's what we want today. That's what we're looking forward to. You saw the other hockey painting I did? Like the McDavid one? That's what I was talking about at the start. That's why I, people think I'm a traitor is because I've painted both sides. But literally like everybody in Calgary, any business of anyone is just like you jump on the, the flames. That's all like a teeth whitening. It's like in the name of Battle of Alberta, join our giveaway, teeth whitening. <laughs> so of course I'm gonna paint it too. Uh, okay, we still have this like light blue on our brushes. <laughs> Do businesses stop when the team is playing? Not quite. Not quite. Um, I'd imagine like there probably is some business owners that do like super fans that would. But I wouldn't say that it's like a, again, more people just like capitalize on it, right? Like, like restaurants will be like, come in and watch the Battle of Alberta and get whatever, wear your jersey in, right? It's just, people gotta make their money. Just do a reverse of the Oilers Flames graffiti on top of the big flames. What if the Oilers win? I know that was my joke. Then I was like, oh, well, if the Oilers win, I'll just put my flames print away and then I'll just promote the McDavid finish. <laughs> it's all in good, just sports fun. Like I said, I lost a lot of followers when I bad talked McDavid. Sorry, you guys. He actually is like the next Gretzky right now. I feel like he's like breaking records left, right, and center. I don't know. What can you do? Um, okay, so we're still got this light color and we're still just lightly adding some like wrinkles in there, right? Just to add some nice texture, just to make them look nice and rugged. And then also to highlight, obviously, all of where the light should hit. We went down his snout. We can do a couple more on the side. In his little tusk rectangle we can add a couple little swipey swipies again some people like to paint smooth like if you don't like painting messy like me like you can blend these things in totally fine um don't worry about it it's so like i said i learned that i like to paint messy like this when a teacher tried to make me paint very like soft and clean like him and i like didn't like it at all and if I thought that was the only way to paint, I probably wouldn't keep painting. So if you're out there being like, oh God, this is so messy, it drives me crazy. Make it more smooth, that's totally fine. You always felt like the Flames logo could be so much cooler. You know what, I almost agree. I On the grand scheme of NHL logos, I feel like it's kind of cool. What do you picture? What do you picture it to make it better? Like the Oilers, um, I love their blue and orange jerseys. I think those are beautiful. But then I also really like the Flames red jerseys. Let's do some swappy swappies. You don't know, but it's Flames, so it could be just cool. Hey, that's, that's fair. You can do a lot with Flames. Yeah, you, so much you can do with fire. Yeah, that's touche. That's true. I still have this light blue, almost white on my brush, and I'm just going to do a swipe on the bottom half of my tusks. Tusks. The Flames have this, like, horse logo, too, that I, like, don't really like very much. I like the C better than the horse. Does anyone know what I'm talking about when I say the horse? I think it's on some of their shoulders. It's on one of their old jersey shoulders. Is it a Mustang? Oh, <laughs> see, I know. <laughs> Mate, you're probably right. <laughs> you probably know better than I do. Um, <laughs> like it's like a horse, it's annoying. <laughs> but okay, how are we feeling about our little elephanty? I'm just slobbing in some colors just to show you that it don't matter, don't treat it too precious, it all comes together. 
But Calgary is an old cow town. True. Very true. Not wrong. It still is. We still hold on to that cowboy um, stereotype. I don't know. We like the stampede is like our thing. It's our time to thrive. We'd say it's like the greatest outdoor show on earth, and I don't know where who said that. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no way. I'll buy that right there. I think it's perfect. Moonshine, he needs an eyeball. I have to finish it. I have to show people how to finish their elephants. Even though I appreciate the excitement over the unfinished painting. The white eyes, the way though. Without the people of the elephant, this painting looks hauntingly sassy. He's like, yeah, I get it. I see it. So we're going to grab our blackout. We're going to get our blackout. Take your blackout. <laughs> and again, black goes a long way. You don't like need too much of it. That's probably too much. And what time is it? 8.23. Okay, okay, okay. Um, there's not too, too much lefty. He looks psychic with the eyes. He, you know, it does look like a gypsy. Not a gypsy. What's a lady like? A psychic? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, how's the wedding plan? Sorry to be nosy. Not nosy at all. I put my stuff out there, so you're, it's fair to ask. Um, it's not. <laughs> not for any reason other than um, we are invited to many weddings this year. We have, I think, almost 10. Is it 10? I think it's 10. Um, we're a guest of 10 weddings this wedding season. We've already been to three. And um, we're just kind of like weddinged out and everything's very expensive and we don't really know exactly what we'd want. And it doesn't really bring us joy to plan a wedding like either of us. We're just like, we have other things to deal with um, than the stress of a wedding that we see a lot of people going through. So to be honest, um, not much. We're, we're taking this year of wedding guesting <laughs> wedding guesting to like take pros and cons of like every wedding we go to we're like we like this we don't like this we like this and then next year we'll see how she goes um dan is a well so he was a geophysicist is a geophysicist um that kind of went in oh i'm just painting without telling you guys what to do um that kind of went into um project management with geophysics and then recently he changed into the tech world and he is project managing for dell so he's doing um something very different than he's ever done before and uh like loving it loving to learn this new thing getting away from oil and gas just because our country just doesn't make it easy to be in that industry so he's trying something different it's awesome he gets to like work from home um are we invited via caffeine live stream wedding <laughs> that would Hey, gotta have you guys there. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> That's what we keep telling people. We're like, we're gonna have a wedding, you guys, but it's probably not gonna be for a couple of years. We're just, it doesn't bring us joy. And the thought of spending as much money as we know some people have been spending on their weddings really doesn't bring us joy. So, whatever, we're basically married. We've been together for like eight years, you guys. We've, we're chilling. <laughs> Okay, so we've got blackout. I forgot I'm teaching a class. Um, you're going to get your littlest brush, whatever you're comfortable with. And again, like everyone's painting on a different size canvas. Like Nico's canvas is like this big, so all of his brushes are smaller than this. Um, but we're going to first color in that cute little eyeball, okay? And first, nice and easy, we're just going to draw a black line right across the eyelid. Remember when you want to do thin lines, you're going to use just the tip of your paintbrush. See what I'm using just lightly on the top. I can make this nice little thin line. Look at that, like an eyelash. But then if I push every bristle down, see it's flat on the canvas. Look how thick that line is. So the difference of trying to get thin versus thick strokes is pressure. So if you have an easel like me, you can like... <laughs> Oh, I just pegged my leg, funny bone. Woo! Ay, chihuahua. Um, what was I saying? You can mount your arm 
on your table. You can hold your arm. You can put your hand on your canvas. It'll help. So it's going to be in the future about when the wedding is happening. Who knows? Yep. Exactly. Right now, there's no. We don't know. Um, Tay Tay see Joe Kaiser. Oh, I feel like you always come at this time. It's always a perfect, right in the middle. Love to see it. And you did a line weight lesson. Didn't realize I missed that. I literally just, you just, it was on my hand. You just missed it. And thanks for the props, Joey. Good to see you. We're painting cute little elephant. So we did that line across. And now we're just going to put that little pupil in there. And again, it's not going to be a line straight down. It's going to be a little bit of a curve. Imagine this whole circle. We're curving that eyeball in. And then just filling out that little space we left with black. Right? Mine looks like very unimpressed, hey? It's like this. You can like raise the eyebrow up a little bit. The eyebrow, the eye line. Can I zoom in please? Oh yeah, what a jerk. Of course I can. I know it gets a little blurry when I do the zoom in, but... How's that? We got a cute little eyeball. Do, 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 do. And guess what? You're gonna just draw a little thin outline underneath. Oh, I made that a little thick. That's okay. We'll figure it out later. It's got a real serious case of resting bitch face. It does. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's funny because like when I paint, like if you were to videotape me painting and I'm like, I zone out and I get into the flow, I have a resting bitch, a resting bitch face. Huge. I'm like pissed. <laughs> But if I'm ever in conscious aware that I'm in, I'm a human, <laughs> not just painting. I don't have it. But when I zone out, pissed. Okay, so we've got this black. And again, you can be using a Sharpie if you want. Some people prefer the uh, Sharpie. Go for it if you want. And again, like you're going to be doing same thing, like maybe a couple little like black wrinkle lines. I don't know. Define where the front of the eye is if you want. I identify with the elephant so much. I love that. And you didn't notice the planet tat. Where is my camera? That's for Daniel. Or, um, I want a tattoo of, that I made me think of Dan, what I see the most, and I'm drawing the most. And ooh, he's a space guy. And when, like, our very first Valentine's Day, I'm just outlining here. I'll talk and paint. Again, I'm just going to finding these shapes and these areas with a rough black line. But uh, on one of our first Valentine's Days, like, so yeah, eight years ago, um, maybe seven years ago, he brought me, he's a volunteer at the observatory, which is like the space place here in Calgary where like you, space place, um, it has like a huge telescope and um, like the university uses it and it's not open to the public all the time. And we volunteered teaching kids how to see Saturn through his telescope that we brought. At the time I was like, I don't even like kids. What are you doing to me? <laughs> and so I think of Dan, and then we took a picture of it through his, like a picture of Saturn through his telescope and that was like the background of his phone for so long so whatever, i just always relate saturn to daniel and so i love it so i'm just going through and like see how the dark blue remember how we kind of did some rough dark blue outlines like it's peeking through in some of these places i think that looks cool and when I came around the tusk, it is a curved line a little bit. It's not a straight line across. If you made it straight, not the end of the world. And same thing. Let's just outline this little tusky. Just curious, are you introverted or extroverted if we meet in person? Um, I'm, 
<laughs> I'm just like laughing because my mom would be like, uh, extroverted. Uh, I'm extroverted. I just, uh, I'm also very socially awkward though. <laughs> I'm also very socially awkward. Like I'm in my head more than people probably think I am. <laughs> but uh, I'm extroverted. Who are we kidding? So how's that? We've got his little tusky wusky in there. And we're gonna just make his little mouth, gonna make him look even more just bitch faced. See this line? We did this curve for that square that makes his little tusk. And we've got his chin at the bottom, right? We did that little S laid earlier. Let's just do a little. That's his mouth. You can even make it have a line this way if you want, like very cartoony, but that's just his mouth. So when I zoom out, look, he's just like pissed. <laughs> you can curve it in a little bit. Oh gosh, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, oh, that's why I keep forgetting music. That's why I'm going crazy in these things is because I'm just um, we still have black on our brush. And we're still outlining. Let's go to the very back. The first big curve, the dark curve. We're probably going to dark outline that. We'll give it a little. Oh my goodness. I need to go closer. <laughs> I'm just chilling, relaxing. I'm like this far away from the painting. Um, shoop. All right, we've got the dark line there. And then, as a person who's met you, I didn't think you were awkward at all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's, I love that. Because <laughs> there are many times where I am like, awkward. <laughs> but I was in a group of friends. There you go. There you go. I can imagine the elefante is seeing an amazing banana tree. Love the imagery. Sound effects are required. It really does help. Yes, Dresden, I love that you. Yep. Exactly that. So you go, meow. <laughs> that line just went wild. Let's go. You play on my sister's team just to clear things up. Who's your sister? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, of course. I didn't know that was you. Aww. Hi. You're the best. I was like, I couldn't, I can't see your picture. Your picture's so small, so I couldn't see. Ah, chin bone. I didn't know this was you the whole time. Love to see it. Love to see. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Amber to get you some paints. Wild child. You're painting along one of these days. Okay, where are we? Oh my gosh, look. just distracted pleasantly. Uh, we've got that outline in there, and we are going to just put two little circles in that little original circle we made. If we zoom in there, oh, yes. Uh, we've got two circles, right? Two little boop boop. The one on the left is a little bit bigger than the one on the right because remember, things closer to you are always bigger. If you made them the same size, it literally makes no difference. The world is so small, you know someone in real life, haha, she got nervous. No, I I meet people all the time. I it I didn't get nervous. I once you said that if like you knew who I was and I didn't know who you were, then I'd feel bad. Like if anyway. Anyway. But I do meet a lot of people. Um, like comic expos and stuff too, so that's fair. But, oh, no, you're Amber's little bro. Okay, so we've got a little curve under that nose. I hate how blurry the camera is when we zoom in like that. And then, yeah, no, yeah. Clarified well, I appreciate it. Love to see it. We're getting you some paints. Wow, we are painting with us. Um, we are just gonna, we did a little curve right underneath and it's like, imagine that we, 
did that circle, right? We drew a circle there originally. And you're just doing a little black line on the bottom of that circle. And you're going, swoop, just a line down just to show the inside of the trunk. <laughs> Don't you with me, gin bone. <laughs> me and Amber, we're painting. Um, uh, where are we at with this little guy? We're just outlining still. So from under the tusk, remember, we did a straight line, but now if you want, you can just do it a little wobbly. If you want to, you can make it a straight line too. I have dumb TikTok songs stuck in my head, you guys. It's stuck in there. Not all TikTok songs are dumb, but this one. Uh, okay, we've got some outline. And we're going to go, remember how we did a dark line on the underbelly of that trunk? Well, now we're going to go on this side and do those squiggly lines as well. Coming on up. Just to show that that's the bottom of the trunk. So, Sad, you live in Colombia. I've been to Colombia. Where in Colombia do you live? I'd like to go to the Comic Con in the States, is bigger and better. But hey, one day, one day you could come to the Comic Expo potentially. Who knows? And once again, we're just outlining, right? So you can do this up here if you want. Again, some of you might be sharpieing. I have to hold my breath sometimes to do an outline. But remember, his little butt forehead, you've got to bring that line over. We might have covered it with the light lines. But you got to bring that butt forehead in. It is a part of his identity. <laughs> oh my goodness. And in his little ear, same thing. We're just going to define that crease. If you want to add some little... Forehead looks like mountains. <laughs> it does look like mountains. I love that. It really does. And in his nose, we can add some more wrinkles. You know what's so funny is like, remember how I said I painted the original, well, not the original, the one I did for the other paint night um, with like lower quality paints. And I like, like it better than my like high quality paints. <laughs> they worked better. See, and you, that's, I love that you think it's the, see, and when I look at them, like, I don't think they're the same at all. I'm just like, wow, how did I paint it the exact same? <laughs> so weird. But thank you. Just paint what you see. That's what I try to do and try to teach is, like, paint what you see. In the middle of Colombia, oh, I'm going to butcher all of the names. But Medellin, Bogot. Bogota, Boga, ba, 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 ba. Cartagena, that's the north. Cartagena is in the north. Santander. Is that near the coffee triangle? Is that actually a thing? <laughs> is the coffee triangle actually a thing? <laughs> No, oh. oh, Colombia was such a beautiful country. Now let's go back. Well, I mean, of course yours is better, but you follow everything they did. <laughs> no, it's uh, well. This time, this is a my picture. Usually, I'm painting somebody else, but this elephant's my elephant. My little cutie. I did this paint night with. Um, like locally at a, uh, what am I trying to say? It's like a DIY studio, like a cute little art studio. Um, you're painting your own painting? Yeah, look. <laughs> and then you know what's even crazier? We have a third one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, my computer just says it needs to restart. No! Oh my goodness. It started getting loud and just said it had to restart. If I just disappear for a second. Oh my goodness, I just did a disaster. I am invited. Well, I'm paid. <laughs> invited and paid to do classes at other places. So it means I'm a real teacher. I have to stop saying I'm not a real teacher. I always said I'm not a trained teacher because I'm not. Just trained with experience. Okay. So we are doing some little black outlines on his snout. And maybe a little dark under his neck, right? We want it to be a little bit more shadowed. And I'm going to water down my black a little bit just to get that little drippy, a little more translucent color right under his neck. This is going to dry a little bit lighter than it looks right now. And hey, maybe you want to drip. That TV spot gave me some exposure. No, I've been partnered with Pinovate for a couple years. You sweet little angel. <laughs> so cute. The, but hey, the TV spot did give me, I got uh, um say I did get a notification from Google that my website had more clicks than usual after my TV spot so that's a positive I'll never forget my second grade art teacher I swear he was obsessed with art oh, that's a good art teacher mine is my high school art teacher that I just like will never forget she was the best and that's those are the best teachers that just like live and breathe art Okay, and so as we are coming, like, it's all, it's literally almost done. Um, you can, if you want, do a quick little line. See on the ends here, if you want to, to cut them off. Cut them off. My high school art teacher was the worst. He was only there for a check. That's, like, the worst because, like, you can get that same check doing something else. Passionate people should be teaching kids, I feel like. I already knew that from a long time ago, the old times when you did live every Thursday. Hey, see, you've been around a long time. I love to hear it. There was a time where I did every Thursday and Tuesday and Thursday, like a wild child. What was I thinking? I'm just kidding. Not was I thinking. I was having fun. But it's crazy to imagine that I used to do that much. COVID made you do it. A thousand percent COVID made me do it. It was COVID, yes, yeah, see everybody? COVID made me do it. So one thing, before we go to the last step of the white and the background, I am noticing, and some of you might have the same problem too, obviously because I'm teaching it, so it will happen to you too, that my dark isn't as dark as I want it to be. Right? And remember, paint's not permanent, so we can easily go back with our dark blue. Maybe even add a touch of white if you want it to be a little bit lighter. But we can go back into some of these spots with the darker color. Taze and Hunter, wasn't there a few Wednesdays where you just painted it and teach? Yeah. Sketch nights. Paint with Tay nights. I'm not really set up. Oh, I guess now that I can stream from my phone now that I can stream from my phone maybe I can do a little bit more um, stream and paint from my little station over there we haven't done game night in a long time I know those are the best they actually just came up on my like memories oh game nights are fun too and those of you painting along I know I'm just gabbing and not talking to you so um, I'm just going back in with a little bit of darker blue. I just felt like we needed to bump. It's just that dark to light blue was a little bit too much of a change. I just wanted to be a little darker. Some of you might not have the problem. Maybe you're okay with it. But I'm just going to bring the dark down a little bit more on his schnozberries. Taze and hot to manage. 
all kill me. Sweet little babies. And dark, dark, dark. Darken that. Give him a little bit more on his chunky chunk. We've got to do one. We have the frames for it. Those sketch Tuesdays. Yeah, I guess there was a time, man. I was just, I was streaming like a wild child. I was a creator or a, a creator. Is that what they're called? <laughs> Sorry, caffeine. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, so see how we just darkened it up. A content creator, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like a caffeine creator is what I meant, because like they call they call you something. How is that elephant ant? Wrinkly as ever. Yeah, my this phalo is not as nice to go on for some reason. How's that? See, whenever I was putting the colors on there, I'm still always trying to go at at least a little bit of that shape, that curve. Yeah, the blue, like check marker, a little shapey. Yeah, so I was like, uh, you're supposed to stream for a certain amount. Like you have, you sign a contract to do whatever the contract says. Partner? Yeah, partner's probably the right word. Who me? I don't even remember. I'm not a partner anymore, so I just come here for fun. Twitch is a little intimidating of a um, platform. It's a little bit crazier. And it's a lot like a mean <laughs> Twitch can be mean. And caffeine, I've never had that. Uh, their moderators are great. And I'll be realistic, of course, I can't have paint nights with hundreds of people in here. It wouldn't go as well, right? Because then I'd be just yapping, not teaching. I'm not on Twitch. No, I'm not on Twitch. Um, I've had a Twitch account forever. Uh, but uh, not a streamer on it. It's just um, from p other people's experience. Is all... But I gobbled Tateski up on all the platforms that I needed to be on. <laughs> but here, right, I'm just going in back in with that dark blue again and just pumping up some of these shapes. I wanted his neck to be a little wrinklier. Does Bezos own Twitch? Amazon owns Twitch? I don't know. I'm assuming that's what you mean with Bezos has enough money. How is that? Again, remember, like, you can be crazy. Like, oh, there's a wild little wrinkle on his ear. You can put a little wrinkle in his forehead. All right. Don't say too much as I'm crying. What? Like, I'm not supposed to say it? I was saying that I like caffeine better, so maybe hopefully they can forgive me. Okay. How's that little guy? So now, before we go to the background, because we always do the background. Oh, I didn't know that. I'll just... Um, uh, we're gonna say... We're going to go to white to add white highlights on our little guy. And then we're going to do the background and he's done. And what time is it? 8.51. Ooh, 10 minutes to spare. <laughs> oh, it's funny. So I have a lot of... Um, my family is divided. Uh, my dad is an Oilers fan. Let's go flames, Justin in the fucking, Justin in the comments. 
Let's go flames. Giving all the probs, the flames props, y'all. Oh, but no, the family group chat's going off right now because my dad and my sister and husband are, uh, I need it for this. Should I cheer? Um, I, and then my mom and I and Dan are just Calgary bandwagoners. So the drama's real in the group chat. I just saw that I missed like 15 messages. They're going back and forth. But let's go flames. <sighs> Love to hear it. Okay, we've got white on our brush, and we don't have much water on it because we want it to go on pretty opaquely. Sorry for bringing the drama. No, 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 no. It's good to know. Um, you are, with your white, you can fill in that pupil. You can make it bigger if you want to, right? You can make it more open, but as long as you put just one little white dot in there. Look at that little dot. Something about the eye highlight just... Makes them look so cutie. I just put a little white line as this little like part of his eye if you want to. And guess what? It's going to be the same old, same old. With good old white paint, we're just going to go subtly. We're not covering up our work. You're going to be like, Taylor, shut up. Stop saying that. But we're going to come in with this pure white. Right? And just add it on a couple of these highlight spots. We're imagining where the sun's hitting him, right? Like, oh, right on the tip of his little nose. This is looking rad as hell. Thank you. When you paint it next, <laughs> it's going to be as great. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got some white in there. And again, like, you can make it, like, rough if you want to. Like, make it the texture of his snout if you want. You can make it a straight line if you want. We've got that pure white, same as in the tusk. We're going to fill in that one side. Remember, we put dark blue or our light blue on one side, but then we're going to lighten it up on the other. You forgot to trust the process? Infinite silver, rude. And again, like, where's the highlight spots? Like, we're going to put a little bit of that white highlight right on his one little booty forehead. Same in his little side eyeball. But again, on the far right-hand side, because remember the sun's coming from over here. Pew, pew. So that will be where the lightest color is. Come on, flames. Keep it going, kids. Do you know? I'd love to see it. Oh, we're in the second period. Okay. All right, and let's bring this line across. Let's just, again, I'm doing those nice old wrinkles, but we're just highlighting some spots. Like if I zoom in, you can see it's like pretty random little light white spots. If you want, you can put some like in his Again, if you want to. Only if you want. Follow your heart and they will guide your imagination. <laughs> I love that. You are feeling very inspirational today. I'm obsessed. Okay, so we've got some more highlights on that ear. Ding, ding. Maybe a little bit in this little spot. I don't know if you want to. Again, I'm putting it pretty rough because he's a rough ass elephant. And of course, on the tippy top of his nose, we're going to need a little more highlight up there. Dee, dee. Oh. Again, try to follow that curved line that we've started with. And maybe a white line or two. Now we can start adding a little more water to our white. We kind of want it to go a little more opaquely. I mean, <laughs> the opposite of that. You kind of want it to go on a little more translucently. All right, just a couple more swipeies. And again, try to be as natural as you can. Edmonton Gold. Uh, I don't like 
like that. I don't like to hear it. Alright, we got some lines in there. Oh, there's a... <laughs> that prop's perfect. <laughs> That prop is perfect for the hockey game. Hello out there. Hello in the air. It's hockey night tonight. I have a real hard time finishing anything, especially if it's front-facing. Symmetry of anything is hard for me, so this profile might be easier. Hey! A thousand percent. I hate symmetry, too. I won't lie to you. It adds a little more pressure on there when things have to be, like, perfect in that sense. Um, you should try it! Doesn't hurt to try. And if you, like... Are frustrated halfway through you also don't have to continue it either I uh, cuz yeah there's no like having to make the eyes perfectly aligned with everything I think you should try we're all learning Nikki's painting along with you on caffeine she's doing so good and Nikki you hear that can't wait to see okay so we've got this watered down white and I'm just adding again a couple of little swipes just for fun. But again, it's watered down, so it's going to dry a little more translucent. And I still have, again, this very watered down white just to add another little couple more textures in there. Ooh, child. Look at him. Look at us. He's looking pretty good. Do we have a finito de elefante? Before we just slob a background on, does anyone need any help with anything or want to tweak anything? Again, remember, like, like, see, you can still see my, like, old circle peeking through on there. That's what the background's for, right? Now it's time for the background. I'm kind of, I'm not like rushing, but I'm like kind of rushing. <laughs> I need to go finish that flames painting, y'all. I'll see if, can you guys see it from here? Let me see. You see it? It's huge and it's so close to being done. I painted that, I am currently painting it, basically not finished yet thank you I can show you guys a close quick before you guys finish up the elephant we're gonna start putting on a background that's the last step mm. I don't really have a great come on camera are you gonna focus Not bad. I've been spending lots of time on it. And I was hoping to finish it before today. I said it would be done by game five, and today's game five. You make the flames actually look like a good team. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> right now, I'm a bandwagon flames fan, so stop it. And then Edmonton scored again. Literally kill me. Okay. Um, are we ready for a background? Uh, as I said in the paint class at Pin of Eight, um, you don't have to do a background if you don't want to. I will, um, some people don't like this messy background and that's fine. You can make it any color you want. You can not paint a background at all. Like literally do whatever you want. Um, I'll just show you how I do this like textury, what you call a background. Let me see, like, like the composition, is that what you mean? I am just gonna bring my big old brush. Oh, thanks. Cause I actually painted him on a square canvas so he like fit nicely on a square originally. So then bringing him to a rectangle was tricky tricky. Okay, I got my big old brush and I just got like a thick slob of white on there as you can see from the side. And I'm gonna start by covering up, if. 
Again, I saw like someone says you like the old circle ads effect. I agree. I don't mind to have that messy look on there. Um, but if you want to hide it, this is the time with pure white. Just hide a couple of the spots in the close to the same area. Because then you're going to go right into your black, like a tiny touch. Because again, black's very powerful. And you're going to go back in to those white spots that you've already put on there. And you're just going to slob your paint around until it looks how you want. You're going to come close to, but not touching your little elephanty. I can't stop saying elephante. <laughs> but, um... And you kind of want to stay close to one spot, or not close to one spot, but you want to work wet on wet, right? You kind of want to roughly mix these colors together until you get that scattery, I don't know, I was going to say tie dye but not quite. Just a textured, fun background. And then if you're like, oh no, it's getting too dark, go right into your white and just bring pure white into those spots. Sometimes you might need to wipe off your brush, like maybe your brush is loaded too much with this like gray color. Need some more white. How's that slobby background going? It's the camera, see the elefante on top of angle and the dirt on the ground. <laughs> hey, that's true. Just some quick dirt. I wish I knew other Spanish to <laughs> any Spanish. I'm French, so I do know like French and Spanish obviously share. Um, some words and some things. I added sparkle to the paint for her background. Lady of my heart. Genius. Since I'm locked in this little corner, I don't have any glitter over here. So that's something that I always love to do, you guys, is glitter, if you're, if you were new here, glitter on like wet paint. So like, see how we're doing this and then I've laid the painting flat probably like what Nikki did if you're watching along over there too and um, pour glitter on your wet paint so then when the paint dries it holds and then your painting is just a sparkly beautiful since magical sensation <laughs> sensation that wasn't right forgive my mouth today you guys it's unpredictable <laughs> right just <laughs> oh, okay where's the white at You're an OG, so you know you like sparkle. Hell yeah, brother. Just a glittery girl. Dan probably loves it now because my our, my studio's not in our home, so there's not glitter everywhere <laughs> that he lives, <laughs> which is a nice change. It's contained to here a little bit. How's our slobby backgrounds going? You have been gone for a long time. Hello, Ashlyn. Hey, I only come back once a month, so you haven't missed much. Oh yes, I remember those days of seeing Dan come for finishing work. Yeah, see, yeah. See, and now Dan works from home and I work out of home. I miss working from home a little bit. I don't miss having no work-life balance. Who am I kidding? I still don't really, but I have more than I did when my studio was at home. Um, but... 
it's easy to work from home. Sometimes I just feel like painting and I would just go in and paint, but now it's like, oh, I have to drive 20 minutes and I just started driving, you guys. I'm just a little baby driver, new on the roads. Well, next live, I might be having baby number two. Ashlyn, that's where you've been. Pregnant and busy with a baby. Because your first must be at least two. Right? Almost two? Is two? You know, when I worked from home, I, I, got, I got more done. I totally did. Which is, like, ironic. She just turned two on the 15th this month. Oh, two years between the two. That's lovely. Nice timing. And I think I'm going to call this crazy background a finito. Yeah, Ashley. Ashlyn. I read Ashley, but Ashlyn. I had a little baby. And that's why she obviously got busy from paint nights, is because she had a human to keep alive. Other than when you did the drip creature picture things, do you use color? Watercolor? I do. I do and I don't. I, um,. I'm a little impatient for watercolor. I won't lie to you. And it's very opposite of what I do, right? Because I paint with acrylic and I like to paint dark to light while um, watercolor is like literally the opposite. And you can't add light on top of dark while I'm like, oh, you make a mistake, cover it up. And you can't do that as well with acrylic. So I don't use it all the time. Sometimes, sometimes I do. Um, but I'm just, uh, what you call it, a snob for acrylic because it's so, like, all of the above. Like, I can water it down to, like, be like a watercolor. I can thicken it up so that it covers on top of things. I can, um, just when doing children's books! Touché. I did do my whole children's book, um... <laughs> in watercolor <laughs> crazy it was and pencil crayon at least and i did cheat and put some acrylic in there when i needed to because i can always you can always put acrylic white on top of watercolor that watercolor white couldn't do so that's a positive at least but yeah i'm just like very impatient so like to wait for it to dry properly is just not good for me but it's a beautiful, oh my God, it's what some people can do with freaking watercolor is unbelievable. My background's a little crazy, but I'm feeling it. So gouache is, um, yes. So gouache is kind of a happy in the middle of those. Uh, it's a little bit more of an opaque watercolor. I just, the, again, I was taught it in art college. Um, they, like designers, it's a very like, prestigious medium that you're supposed to know how to use and the way that I was taught was just like it's a touch it's touchier than watercolor because like if you put too much that's where I got chocolate milk consistency from actually is because you're supposed to get your gouache to a chocolate milk consistency and it'll dry perfect but if you add a little bit too much water it'll crack and if you add don't enough water it will like pull weird it's like a another kind of difficult it's another little bit, yeah, it's difficult, but it makes beautiful results. Like, it's like matte. It, like, dries matte finish. Gouache is nice. Again, I'm just very impatient. <laughs> so, it's hard for me. I, if I don't, I'm not, if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not good at something um, right away, it's hard for me to spend the time on it. And so, acrylic, like, it, when I start doing gouache and it, like, doesn't work right, I'm like, I don't know how to do it in acrylic. It's a waste of my time. <laughs> so, don't. Follow me. Explore and learn all those things. <laughs> don't take my, um, don't lead to my example. It's beautiful. Gouache does finish well. I know I have a project somewhere that I could show you guys, but how do we feel about this elephant, or buddy? 
I know I was extra distracted today. <laughs> Greatly apologize. Just recently started being medicated for my ADHD, and today I didn't take it. <laughs> And it feels wilder than usual. But um, I think he looks cutie. I think he's come along. Again, you can do more drips if you want. You can add glitter in there. Tated mixed media beyond glitter. Priceless. I know. Stepping out of the box every once in a while. Everything has glitter and acrylic. At least I stick to what I, stick to what I know. But oh, I think he looks cutie. And again, remember, you can as push it as far as you want. Like, you can add more wrinkles. You can add, like, different values of the blue. You can go into it as many times as you want. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, to make it as detailed as you want. Or you can leave it as is, whatever works. Hey, if this monkey thing keeps going, we might have to do a Tiger King painting. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many of those Tiger King prints because they sold so well at the start and then all of a sudden just stopped. Stopped selling. I have so many. Nikos looks like the dad. Okay, you know, that's really funny. The dad version of my elephant. That's funny that you say that because at the paint night at Pin of Eight, two ladies together, they were like, they looked like their elephants was like, one looked like the mom of the baby. And it was so cute. Are we ready? Did you guys send them in? Are we ready to uh, share with the class? Love to see it. Okay, okay. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. Put you guys down here. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Uh, what am I looking at? Looky here. Uh, oh, why is it so big? M, M, M. Give me a second. Let me, where's the edge of this so that I can shrink it? Sorry, awkward. <laughs> awkward. I didn't realize I made him so big. Look at that. He's still too big. <laughs> Sorry for the behind the scenes look at <laughs> my thing here. Beautiful. I love, I love your background. I love the drips over the tusk. I love. Oh, let me, let me get that in there. I'm just flailing my screen around here. Looks great. And if you want the red, is it you who wants the red panda, right? Hey, where are you, other y'all? Other painters? I'll add red panda to, oh, here's another, here's another. He does look like the dad. I love it. Oh, cutie, mom and dad. Little babes. <laughs> I love that. Um, what are we saying? Also, where can you send it in for the next time I do? So they send it to me through Instagram. Like this is an Instagram DM, um, but not everybody has Instagram. E you can email it to hello at tayteski.com and I could share it that way too. But yeah, these ones right here are just in DMs on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm just an Instagram. I'm like realizing that Instagram is dying for other ends of other generations of people. <laughs> but um, you're doing amazing, sweeties. But I, it's just my comfort zone. <laughs> it's what I know how to do. It's the platform I know how to use. But you're doing amazing, sweetie. I love that. And also, I miss Dresden. Thanks for all the hearts. I love FFS. That one reminds me of Manny from Ice Age in a good way. Love that. Yes, huge shout out to Nikki for the live stream. I wish I could see it. Your painting turned out lovely. I'm not meaning to yawn. I swear. 
I'm just refreshing though. I know there's a couple other ones out there, but also some people don't like to share the photo and that's okay. You don't have to share with the class. Um, but thanks guys. I appreciate it so much. I'm gonna close that in there. Appreciate all y'all so much. And yeah, now that's true. Now, even though I do put them on YouTube, but now caffeine, you can, it like replays on here, which is really cool. And so you can go back and see the last, I think the last four or five. So we did, I have them all right here. We did a skull. We did a cutie little panda bear. We did Bart Simpson. <laughs> I love the Bart Simpson. He turned out good. We've done Make It Wazowski. And then I think that's it. That's here for now. We've obviously done more, but I've donated all the other ones. I always try to collect a chunk and then I donate them. But I guess the time... It's time for the thumbnail. Bye, Dresden. Thanks for being so generous today, you sweet angel. Paying for my shipping costs. A lot of fun as always. Thanks, guys. Sorry. It's just... Whew, blinded by the light. Why is my camera just drunk? Let's... Why aren't you straight? I'll just move it down so I don't have to worry about that. The th you need a trunk eating peanuts from the thumbnail. <laughs> like, I need... Okay, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, no, thank you for joining. I'm glad you told me who you are. Um, uh, okay, so we've got an elephant, and so... Am I just an elephant this way? Or do we... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, usually I put the painting on this side. Okay, so there's an elephant here. Oh, oh, oh. And I am an elephant here. Imagine trunk. I don't know, you guys. Like, there'll be peanuts up here. Is that what you're saying? Like, I should be eating. We should be sharing peanuts. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I just feel like that's fair. I'm an elephant right here. Oh no, come back, come back, come back. Elephant. Picture it. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks y'all for sticking around. More of you stuck around than usual till the end and I love to see it. I appreciate y'all. Uh, next Thursday paint night is Let me make sure that I'm here. June 20th, June 30th, June 30th. So we've got some time. Maybe we'll do the red panda. I don't know. Sometimes I just, we'll see how I feel in the day. <laughs> okay. But I'm thinking probably red panda. So we'll see you guys in a month. Have a great time. If you want to catch up with me, y'all know where to find me, Instagram. YouTube, TikTok, Etsy, TayTasty.com. TayTasty across the board. Y'all know. Amazing class. Oh, you. Stop it. Cuties. I appreciate y'all, and I'll just, like, catch you on the flip side. Okay? <laughs> See you guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>